Welcome to hike! Bike! Walk! Run! Run! Welcome to hike! Bike! Walk! And run! Stay tuned! Hey everybody, welcome back to this hike, bike, walk, run segment. I have two special guests. Well, Samantha, you know her, she's a regular. But <laughs> I have Carrie Martin here also because this is at Whitehall Park out here at the northern end of Madison County. And Carrie, this is kind of like your stomping ground. Give it us is. a brief synopsis of what you do at here. It is. I, I love coming out here. It's just, um, I don't know, it's just absolutely beautiful. The paths are peaceful. They're mm -hmm. beautifully paved. Mm -hmm. There's the perfect amount of walking paths. Right, so I right. can get a great walk in. It's really clean. And the nature out here is just, I just can't stop looking at it's it. Fabulous. It's absolutely pristine. It's yeah, very, I love it. It's very I love it. beautiful. We're going to give you a little trip around. Right. We're going to do the, some walking. The trail, going to do some walking. And Samantha and Carrie are going to be the... Uh, MCs for this episode, and I actually get to concentrate on the uh, camera work. The video. You're going to camera hold the camera. <laughs> it's not going to be me this time. <laughs> All right. It's going to hey, be folks, fun. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome back everybody. I'm here with Carrie Martin. It's Samantha Burford. We are going to do this walking trail and we cannot wait. Now Randy's with us but he is behind the camera today. So we are setting our watches to right, outdoor walk. It. I've got my protein coffee. You're I should have brought regular. Mine. Well, you're a regular, <laughs> so you tell us where we need to go today. Okay, well, I mean, you can tackle any trail here you want to, but what I typically do is park right there. It just, I walk the backside. I absolutely love the backside. Do you, is there a reason it's, why you like walking the backside? There is. It's, um, it's, it's absolutely beautiful for one. It's much more shaded and there's a lot more trees back here. Right. I guess I would consider it the most peaceful half okay or side of the park personally now i'll tell you i when i walk back here though samantha i always try to make sure i'm with someone okay or now that, that makes i know good there are sense. a lot of people walking back here it does tend to be the quieter area of the park so just for safety purposes i always want to walk now when we do these hike bike walk run segments randy mm -hmm. and i do speak about that because i think safety should be a priority men women children i mean you got to be safe while you're yeah. out here. Have your phone. You might want to have some mace. You just, I feel yeah. like you well, can't. Well, I've actually got I feel mine. safe. I like wear I, it on oh. my little pack here. I See, just try to have very it with me. smart. Yeah, and I always have my phone with me as well. But you know what? Let's talk about the all ages piece. That's one of my favorite parts. Good morning, sir. There, there are all ages out here, and I absolutely love it. I mean, you see little kids on little bicycles out here. You see, I actually just bumped into a woman. She's in her probably 70s or 80s. She's out here with her little 14-year-old dog walking. So you see the whole spectrum. Oh, I love it. Out here, which is wonderful. Well, and it's so. getting cooler in the mornings. Mm -hmm. So you come out here early then? Well, I come Most out Most days here. before work? No, honestly, Samantha, you come at I, night. I, on the weekends, I am very early. I'm typically oh. out here close to sunrise. And candidly, I, I think it's one of the most beautiful sunrises in Madison County. Not yeah. going to lie. The sun rises over the water and it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. But just because I'm a busy mom. An early bird. A professional, <laughs> yeah. And during the week, if I'm going to make it out here, it's always going to be in the evening. So, oh, okay. But you can't go wrong because it, the sun sets here on the backside yes. over top of the White Hall has the, the house, the historic house. And it's stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous. So you can't go wrong. Sunrise, sunsets are beautiful out here. So back here, it's nice and shaded, yeah. Carrie. I mean, this is wonderful so if you walk like people need to walk in the afternoon it's got plenty of shade it. back here i love it well and the the counter to that is if it's a super windy or extra cool day right i like to come back here just because you don't get exposed to the wind as much so on a windy day i don't walk next to the pond i'll be honest because it can be quite chilly on certain days but uh, i just i like to walk back here the trees i think just are therapeutic they feel good it's nice and shaded it's cooler so this is the perfect spot to be on a hot summer day true is on this back half but this morning it is getting chillier in the mornings yes and so it is kind of chilly out here we've got yeah. our sweatshirts on and 
Yeah, it Got, is. You gotta wear layers. You do. That you way do. we can take it off if we're... Absolutely. If, if we're gonna do nine miles like you <laughs> and nine others typically like the, do. Yeah, well, I don't, I, I never quite hit nine miles, but I usually try to get in at three miles on any given walk minimum. So sometimes on the weekend when I have a little more time, I'll shoot for six, but I try to get in that three miles. That helps me hit 10,000 steps a day. And I just think in general, if all of us as humans can hit that 10,000 steps a day, we're just gonna be so much healthier. It's so hard to do that, it is. people. Cause you get busy with work. Some days it might be easier than others to be yes. able to get away from your desk. I know my daughter at her office, my mental daughter, they will take 10 minute breaks. Oh, I love it. And they'll go outside, they'll, they'll okay, what time can everyone do this? Let's say it's 12, 15, maybe not lunchtime, but you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like 2, 15, let's do it. And they'll all meet and they'll go walk around. They have a sidewalk around their building and they'll go out and walk a lap. They'll talk about work, love it. what's happening. And then they go back in. This, and she says it makes her feel so much more yeah, productive. It does, it, it, it releases those hormones, right? That just bring, yes. you to, bring you to life and give you the energy you need to get through the next leg of your work. So Carrie, tell me more about exercise, the mental health aspect of it all. Mm. And it makes you feel better. It makes me feel better. It makes everybody yeah. feel better just even if you can do it for 10 minutes absolutely it does you know i um i started walking for exercise and i almost immediately noticed a difference in my my attitude my perspective in stress levels i mean you name it it just started impacting everything and i am a better human because i walk it makes me physically stronger which i'm thankful for but it just makes me mentally stronger. So it makes me, I think, a better mom, yes. a better friend, right? Yes. A better wife, a better professional. I just think it impacts everything about our lives. And I, I find myself wishing, honestly, that just more people would get out and walk, mm -hmm. that they just get out and move. The, the beauty out here, I mean, if you really just stop and pay attention, you're getting the vitamin D, the sunshine. Yes. You can take the deep breaths, the beautiful air. And I make it my personal mission every time I come out here to just find something beautiful. It might be a purple flower. It might be a deer. It might be a rabbit. It might be a rabbit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, it might be a new dog I meet, like sweet little wonton that yes. I've met out here so many times, but I just look for beauty. And I think that for me, that's my way of expressing gratitude and being more grateful. And I think that's good for mental health too. So right. it's just a win-win. Yes. It is just absolutely a win-win. Okay, walk in the same path all the time. Oh, I might get good. bored. Oh, good question. Do you question. get bored? Do you turn around and go no. the other way? Do no. you go to different parks? I never get bored because there's always something new to discover out here. I, ne I literally never ever run out of things to discover in terms of just beauty for one. And there's so many different ways that you can slice these trails. I have kind of a routine that I do that helps me hit my three miles, but there are so many paths you can take and you can shake it up and do whatever you have time for. Maybe you only have time to go a quarter of a mile. You can make that happen. So it just customize it, make it your own. I never, ever get bored out here. Well, and that brings us to how long is this part of the path that we're oh. walking? Good question. So we are walking behind the Whitehall Historic House. Yes. And we are heading over toward the pond. So if we walk behind the house and go over and up around the pond, up on the farm. So we do the, the entire perimeter. Yes. yes. That's going to be around 1.8. So for me, and you can hear me breathing because out here they have hills. Yes. Which I love. Not big but, ones. Right, not big ones, not big ones but, but enough to get your cardiac system going. Yes. But if you do that twice, you're gonna hit three miles. So if you're new to the health journey, you may not wanna do the whole loop, right? right. Is there a possibility right. of just getting started and doing half the loop? Oh, absolutely. If you, if you park in the main parking lot, they have two parking lots, Samantha. So they have a walker's lot, which we're gonna pass up here in a minute. But the main parking lot sits beside the pond, right? And if you park there and just walk around the lake, that's going to be right at three quarters of a mile, pretty close. And if you're not quite up to three quarters of a mile, 
just walk beside the lake back and forth a few times. Just get started, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you could come here and do a quarter of a mile. You could do three quarters of a mile around the lake. Um, you can walk the entire perimeter and hit about 1.5 miles. So literally you can divide it up any way you want to, but I would encourage someone, don't be intimidated by this three mile thing. Just come yeah. out and start. And guess what? It's free. Oh yeah. It's free. It, it's There's amazing. no startup cost. Well, you know, wear yeah. your sweatpants, just your loungewear. Absolutely. You don't have to match. Just come out, get some tennis shoes. You want to get some comfy tennis shoes. Well, I tell everybody I talk to, I swear, I think this is one of Madison County's best kept secrets. A little hidden gem out it here, is. isn't it? It's a hidden gem. So I hesitate to share it with everybody, but <laughs> honestly, we need everybody out here walking and it is free. It costs literally nothing right. and it's good for everything. Your mental health, your physical health, your, I mean, just, it's just a win-win. Samantha, did you happen to notice the parking lot right, right back here that we just passed? Easy access That's, for yeah, everyone. They we gotta look the both ways. Lot. Yeah, we've gotta look both ways because we're crossing the road here, but they call that the walker's lot. And so a lot of people park there. Now, the only caveat is you don't have access to a restroom right here. So I tend to park in the other parking lot because it's close to the restroom, just in case okay. you need it. Over by the shelter. Over by the shelter, okay. up by the pond, absolutely. So having crossed the road now, we're on, we're opposite the house and we're gonna walk uh, in a big wide open space. It's not shaded, it's the opposite of what we just left. And we're gonna walk on the upper side of the water. It's a gorgeous view. Look at this. I yeah. mean, you can even see the mountains ahead of us. Absolutely, absolutely. It's beautiful over here. On that side, we walked that entire back half and we walked right out a mile to give you perspective. Well, it, okay, because we're talking, it doesn't really seem like a mile. It makes the time go by it does. fast, doesn't it? It does, it gets by <laughs> really fast. Yeah, I wanna mention something. I come out here a lot during the winter and it's not comfortable and the sun isn't out and it's not gorgeous, but there's still extreme power in being outside on the cold days. You're still going to get some sun, some vitamin D. You're still going to get that fresh air. Just the mere fact your body's moving mm -hmm. is going to serve you. I guess I would just tell people, come on out even if it's cold. Bundle up, buy some fleece Wear some pants, layers. Yes, wear they some make layers, the, put your they gloves make on. leggings with fleece in them. Oh, and Double the socks. That's a game changer. Gloves. That's a game changer. Yes, put on something over your ears in case it's a windy day and come out and just breathe it in. You will be so proud of yourself if you walk on a cold day. Now, do you, do you meet a lot of people? Like, do you Not a ton. And people. for that purpose, I don't go on the back path by myself during the winter because it's less populated here. Right. I stay here around the water or up here on the, the um, upper side of the water. Well, we've had a lot of people here today with yeah, us. Yeah, we have. We've had a lot of dogs with us today. Remember that if you do bring your dog, they're supposed to be on a leash. They're supposed to, you know, have your baggies to clean up yes. after them. No one wants to walk in any That's right. leftovers. That's oh, right. <laughs> okay, so Carrie, if you get tired, you want to take yeah. a break, there's lots of beautiful benches with there the are. most exquisite views. Yeah, right it's here. incredible what we're looking at right now. I yes. Mean, just, just look at it. it Randy, yeah. you got to turn around so that people can see this yeah, beautiful it's, view. Yeah, it's, it's fabulous. Every bench, you know, they're pretty spread out. That way you have a bench to rest on mm -hmm. at any point on your walk, but they all have something unique and gorgeous in terms of a view. So I, I try every time I come out here for a walk to build in a few minutes to just sit on a bench and just take it in. Like if Leave you just listen in. to the sounds right now, Samantha, what do you hear? Birds. Crickets. Crickets it's, and some silence actually. Yeah, yeah it's No just, TV, no radio, no kids yeah. screaming. And, and, the view, and the view is just, yeah. it's worth it all. And I wanna add that it is well mowed. It is. Thank it you is. to the Madison County system right, and the employees right. that Who handle take all, take it. great care of this. It's yeah. well maintained. Well, and honestly, to that point, the park is really clean. So I, I think people take real pride. I suspect that we have amazing staff who are coming out here and caring for it. But I think that the, the citizens, 
that come out here and enjoy it take real pride in it. I don't, I don't see litter. And right, I, I was going to say litter, you don't see trash in it up. Right. So I would just encourage you if you come out here to enjoy this park, be the one that picks up the litter if you see it. But have you seen any? No, I haven't seen any. I mean, it's truly gorgeous. It really is. Mm -hmm. But yes, you know they say that on college campuses too with my yeah. oldest daughter what she went to Ole Miss and they said if you see litter pick it up be a Absolutely. part of our family pick be it a up part of the and solution. that's the same thing as this like yeah. pick it up take it with you we've got pockets usually so Absolutely. I'm waiting I'm empty I'm gonna throw it away we'll when find we get trash to the can. end yes actually yeah. I'll probably take it home with me because I'll recycle, recycle it. it that's great that's <laughs> I won't great. put I it in the trash recycle. good for yeah. you good for you you know we talked about how beautiful the park is. Mm -hmm. We did find one can. We did. So I'm gonna pick, yeah. I picked it up. I'm gonna take it home with me, recycle it as well. So. Randy found that can. Oh, actually, yeah, Randy found it. Randy but found you know what? Can. One can out of That's not this bad, because we've covered well, a lot of ground. We've gone, we've gone about a mile and a half now, yeah. so. All right, I'm doing my part. That's pretty impressive. We're gonna recycle. Sounds good, sounds good. Now check out, we got a beautiful view of someone over here fishing. Yeah, you know, I, this is actually a great place to come fish. I don't know how often they stock it, but I know they do, Samantha. My boys absolutely love to fish out now, here. Now how old are your boys? They are now 16 and 13, and so they're pretty busy. They don't get to come out as much as they used to, but they, uh, and, and their father, he's an avid fisherman, they come out here periodically. One, because it's so peaceful, Yes. And two, because they always catch them. Always. So my watch is telling me how many steps we've gotten in today. I guess you don't have to have a watch, but there are so many sport watches out oh. there now. But it's exciting to see how many steps we've taken. We've been going for 50 minutes. It is. I love being able to see how many steps I've taken and how many miles you've gone. And honestly, if you shake up your path, if mm -hmm. you don't, if you want to do something different, you want to know how many miles you've gone, right? Right. So if you just walk around this lake, Samantha, you're going to walk right at 0.75. You don't need a watch to track that. But if you decide to get a little adventurous and go around the lake and go up on the farm side up here and then walk behind the house and around the lake again, you want to be able to track that. Right. That's really yes. exciting that you've gone that far and you want to be able to see how far you've gone. And then see, we're in a group, so my family, it does our family activity. So see, I'm already going to beat my children Oh, today. that's wonderful. They're going to be like, Mom, you got up <laughs> early gonna and really exercised. They're going to be really impressed, aren't they? They are, because usually my activity is, you know, lunchtime or in the evening. Right. So they're going right. to be like, Mom's already beaten us today. Well, and the beautiful we're a little competitive can you tell <laughs> i love that i'm yeah. competitive too the beautiful <laughs> thing about having the watch it'll give you awards too if you walk a certain number of miles or a certain number of days in a row it starts to give you awards so not only can you encourage your family members by sharing your workouts you're going to start earning awards if you show up each day well and now that we've gone our 50 some minutes it is starting to get you know you got your heart rate up yes. your leg muscles are working pumping your arms hearts up that's right i'm, I'm getting a little better. warmer yes i'm getting i feel warmer too but i also feel more positive i do, do too i do yeah. too and it's kind of ready to tackle the day you know i agree mm -hmm. and now maybe i'll go to pilates oh that sounds like a great plan i love yes with rebecca with rebecca she's wonderful isn't she she is and you're getting ready to take your I first am. class right yes tomorrow evening i'm going to my first class over there i can't wait i love it i've been going about a year and i thoroughly enjoy it wow. i could i i feel stronger i feel stretched and relaxed when i leave there it's kind of very similar you feel right. rejuvenated but not sore now sometimes i do get sore you know don't get sore. me wrong no pain no gain right <laughs> So we're through with our walk. I feel yeah. energized. I'm ready for the day. We got out here early this morning. We want to remind everybody, you can bring your children out here Absolutely. and enjoy the beautiful and safe Yes. playground yeah and I think this playground's designed for littles that's the majority of what I see out here just the younger children yes but I know as a parent I loved bringing my littles out here because you didn't have 
a lot of risk, right? right. And it's not super packed, so it's right. very safe environment. For and them. I'm not too old to get on that swing over there. Oh, so, me either. You know, we should I, totally I might do try it. the swing. Yeah. But you've also got a restroom, restroom close by, men's and yeah. women's, and, and the then pavilion. you can reserve the pavilion. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of picnic tables. There's somebody over there stretching on the picnic tables yeah. right now. So it's shaded. I think you just call the Madison County government. You do. Uh, get on their website, you can mm -hmm. rent it, or just call the phone number yeah. to um, and, and rent you know, the space. I had a party here for one of my boys once, and we loved it because we had this whole field in which we could play and uh, do activities and games, and then, of course, the proximity to the restroom right. and the parking. It's a great it's a idea. Win -win. It is a win-win, and mm -hmm. I don't know the cost of it. You'll have to call and check it out. It right. possibly could be free. Lots of trash cans around, plenty of parking. Plenty so bring of parking. your family, bring yeah. your family and enjoy. This is great football weather but it's also great exercise yeah, weather you is. know it's fall it is so, absolutely fall in madison Same. county so we want to thank you for joining us randy's behind the camera i'm samantha burford with carrie martin she's the expert out here out uh, here walking thank you. just about every day so yeah. we hope you enjoyed this video of richmond tourism hike bike walk and run and we'll see you next time see ya <laughs>